Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 2 power x plus 2 plus 4 power x equals to 4 plus 8 power x. And we are going to eventually check the solution as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. I'm going to move this term to the right. And similarly, I'm going to move this term to the left. So our equation is going to look like 2 power x plus 2 minus 4 equals to 8 power x minus 4 power x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this 2 power x plus 2. And here I have copied it down. And now let's go ahead and apply this product rule of exponents. So this could be written as a 2 power x times 2 power 2. And now we can see 2 power 2 is same as 4. Therefore, this could be written as a 2 power x times 4. Therefore, I am going to replace this very first term by this simplified form. So this is going to be written as a 2 power x times 4 minus 4 equals to. And now let's focus on this term 8 power x. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and focus on this uh, base 8. 8 could be written as 4 times 2. So therefore we can write this one as 4 times 2 whole power x. And now we are going to apply this property of exponents. So this could be written as 4 power x times 2 power x. So therefore I'm going to replace this 8 power x by this uh, simplified form. We can write this one as 4 power x times 2 power x minus 4 power x. And now we can see this 4 is in common between these left hand side terms. And likewise over here 4 power x is in common between the right hand side terms. So let's go ahead and factor out 4. So we ended up with a 2 power x minus 1 equals to likewise we can factor out 4 power x. So we ended up with a 2 power x minus 1. Now let's go ahead and move this term to the right hand side. So we can write this one as 4 power x times 2 power x minus 1 and then minus 4 times 2 power x minus 1 equal to 0. And now we can see that this 2 power x minus 1 and this 2 power x minus 1 is in common. So therefore we can factor out 2 power x minus 1 outside and we ended up with 4 power x minus 4 equal to 0. And now since these two factors are equal to 0, we can separate them. I can write 2 power x minus 1 equal to 0. And this second factor, 4 power x minus 4 equal to 0. So let's move this negative 1 on the other side. So this is going to give us 2 power x equals to 1. And now let's focus on this 1. Let's go ahead and tweak it. We can write this uh, 1 as 2 power 0. So therefore we can write this equation as 2 power x equal to 2 power 0. And now let's go ahead and apply this basic rule of exponent. That means if our bases these are same as 2. So we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore we can write x equal to 0 as our one of the solutions. Now let's focus on the equation on the right hand side. Let's move this negative 4 on the right hand side. So this could be written as 4 power x equals to 4. 
Now this 4 on the right hand side could be written as 4 power 1 and now we can see that our bases are same as 4 so let's go ahead and apply this rule once again therefore we can write x equal to 1 is our another solution so thus x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 turned out to be our solution to this given equation and here's our next step let's go ahead and check the solutions one at a time let's go ahead and check this x equal to 0 first and now let's go ahead and check x equal to 0 so that means wherever we see x x x i am going to replace it by 0 and we are going to see whether left hand side equal to the right hand side and here i replace x by 0 and we simplified this one and we can see that 2 square is same as 4 4 power 0 is same as 1 and likewise 8 power 0 is 1 as well now we can see the left hand side turns out to be 5 and the right hand side is 5 as well and we can see that both sides are same therefore this is a true statement so thus we conclude that x equal to 0 is our valid solution and now we are going to check our solution for x equal to 1 that means wherever we see x these x's i am going to replace them by 1 and see if the left hand side is same as the right hand side and here i replace x by 1 and here we can see 2 power 3 is going to give us 8 4 power 1 is going to give us 4 and likewise 8 power 1 is going to give us 8 and now we can see that uh, our left hand side turns out to be 12 and the right hand side is 12 as well since the both sides are same so therefore this is a true statement as well so therefore we conclude that x equals to 1 is indeed our valid solution as well and now let's go ahead and recap our solutions were x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 and once we checked our solution step by step x equal to 0 is our valid solution and x equal to 1 is our valid solution as well so both are valid solutions so thus our complete solutions turns out to be x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye